Let me tell you about Makavedi, the missing cat. The story took place in Hania, which is a pretty little town in the beautiful Greek island of Crete. It was a spring day when we arrived in Hania in the middle of the rain shower. Everywhere in the town there was a bus that cat was missing. Our taxi driver told us all about it. There was a poster on every other lamppost, but strangely, there were no photos of the missing cat on the posters, so no one really knew what the cat looked like. All we learned is that it was a brown colored cat and that its name was Macavity. Yes, the same name as in a famous poem that you may have read yourself. We were wondering, did the cat look like this one? Or this one? Maybe this one? Or this? This one? Oops, not a cat. Well, later that afternoon, we restarted our walk from where we left. We saw people looking everywhere for the cat. There was going to be a prize for the one who finds the cat, so we also decided to join the search. The honey of Venetian Harvard is really, really pretty. The Photoshop blue rain had given way to sunshine by that time. There was a strong wind blowing and the ocean was shocking. We kept looking around for the missing cat in restaurants, in the ocean, everywhere. Then, while looking at the menus, the thought came to our mind. Did the cat drown in the ocean by any chance? I mean, it was not an impossibility. There was always a one-ninth of a chance. <laughs> anyway, we started looking closely at the ocean. The water got choppy and the waves hit the embankment hard. Hard enough to drown unsuspecting tourists and maybe cats. As we walked along, we saw this very suspicious looking man and it was apparent that he was tall. He was armed with a camera and taking photographs of everything all around, including every cat that he saw. He was even mumbling to himself. He wore a black bubble wrap jacket, even though it was not really that suspicious, huh? I mean, really, really suspicious. We had been searching for over an hour now, but there was no sign of the cat. Only the suspicious looking man reappearing everywhere. We wondered about what he could be carrying in that fancy backpack of his. The cat, perhaps? Well, we decided to look deeper into the waters, which are quite choppy by this time. There was no sign of Macavity anywhere. By then, clouds were gathering in the distance. A storm was brewing on the western sky. We needed to hurry. Then, just as we turned the corner, there he was again, that suspicious looking scene. This time, he was pretending to take photographs of the harbor, but we were watching his backpack very carefully. We could swear something was moving inside that backpack of his. We decided to follow him. The man moved on towards the part of the harbor that has old warehouses and museums. Nakavity could certainly be hiding in those ancient buildings deep in the catacombs. That possibility did cross my mind as I pointed towards those buildings, but then I decided against going in there because I found that the man did not. Now, as we were walking along the harbor, I started looking carefully at the boats. Something caught my eye in one of the boats, but it turned out to be a dog. Certainly, Macavity won't be found in a dog's company. Well, nothing to say there. So we moved on. By now, it was late in the afternoon, but still, there was no sign of Macavity. We were now approaching the old Venetian merchant warehouses. Those huge buildings were known to be quite dark inside, which make them great places for hiding. 
There was a black and white cat having a siesta, but this definitely was not my cavity. It was not brown enough, you see. This was beginning to feel like a wild cat chase to me. Just then, I realized that I could not see the suspicious looking man anymore. I had this strange feeling that he was behind me, maybe taking my phone. But the turn around now would make it suspicious about us. So, I kept walking. And just then, a brown cat that could have been the missing McCavity walked by silently and with a slow feline gait. I called out, McCavity! But she did not so much as look at me. This was definitely not our cat. It was getting late by then. We were quite disappointed and so we spent the rest of the day walking aimlessly around the pretty harbour of honey. It was a day spent looking for a missing cat. Anyway, it definitely was a lot of work. The reward at the end of the day had to be something special. So we settled for a delicious cup of ice cream. It was wonderful. Turned out this was not the end of the story. We learned later that McCavity had been found wandering around in the old city less than a mile away. Well, what can I say? All's well that ends well, I suppose. The mystery of missing McCavity was solved and we had a great time in Crete. I do recommend that you visit Harian. You will love it.